<clears throat> Thank you all for joining me tonight. If you can't tell, I have run in my house and um, <clears throat> talked with Ann Lippard to make sure nobody else was playing because, you know, I don't want to play when someone else is. Not that we would take anything away from them, but I, I just want to respect to the to the point that I can respect anybody else's time. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I had the honor of, of participating in my cousin's funeral yesterday, and um, it was it was very sad for me because he was a he was a very special person, um, great Christian great businessman, great father, great cousin, great friend. Um, he was the, the one who always made sure we had a family reunion on the Altman side every year. And um, between him and Sandy and Gina, they always um, organized it and got the word out. And um, it's going to be sad not to have him around. And he and his wife are so close and she's such a sweetheart and just, just so loyal and supportive of him. I played this song for her, but she wasn't in the church yet. Um, and, and I don't think she follows Facebook and that's beside the point. Um, I'll, I'll just say some words from it because I can't say them in order. Many things about the morrow I don't seem to understand, but I know who holds tomorrow and I know who holds my hand. I want to play that for Celeste.
struggling to play it and it was because the last numbers of times that I played it my mama's been on the treble end doing her little so anyway um, I missed her tonight and and she is missing being here um, they're all um, Madison loves my, my daughter Madison loves my mama like um, just I guess the way a, a grandchild should love their grandmother and I'm, I'm so thankful for that. And I'm, um, my mama loves her children, but she really loves her grandchildren. Um, and Madison wanted her bridal shower to be at Granny's house. So Mama and Patricia and Kelly and I don't know who else has been at Mom's getting ready for that. Um, and that's why Mom hasn't been. But I think next week she'll probably, if she has to take a taxi, to Myrtle Beach. She'll probably be getting to Myrtle Beach so she and I can sit on this piano bench and share with you. Um, she loves that and I'm so thankful for that too. Um, it's wonderful to see her sit here and enjoy playing so much. Um, I had several requests and, and I'm going to play those and I've got several things that I want to share with you so I'm going to talk. Um, I know I always talk too much but I'm going to try to talk um, a little bit tonight to share some things with you and I'm sorry I had my iPad where I really couldn't read the comments so if you've made a request if you would make it again I'll certainly try to play it um, before tonight's over um, but I could sing probably all three verses to Jesus Hold My Hand. <laughs>
smile. Um, <coughs> excuse me, it's just a really fun song to play, and it's a great song to sing, but I've gotten several requests for it in the last few seconds. <laughs> you all to see my bald head or um, that is not supposed to stay on my um, 
up here tonight. So anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's a Yamaha G2, not anything fancy, but I can tell you it was a gift from God. I waited, I shopped for many, 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 many years, um, and it was, I told the lady that I bought it from, I think God had her buy it and just break it in for me and hold it for me, but I love it, and, and you guys <clears throat> who've been on the page a long time know you hear me talk about Oscar. Oscar Solis is the wonderful piano tech who comes and tunes this and, and babies it, and he laughs because I call him so often <laughs> to come tune it. Um, I just don't want to take a chance on <clears throat> something going wrong and me not catching it. I'm not fortunate enough to live oceanfront, but I live a block off the ocean, and there's enough humidity and salt in the air here that it could easily rust the string, so we try to watch it closely, and that's way, way more than you wanted to know. Um, anyway, um, I love this chorus, um, <clears throat> and I hope that you know it. If you don't, it just says, He is exalted, He is exalted, He is exalted on high. Creation shall praise him, saints shall adore him, for he is exalted on high.
that's the way we sung it <clears throat> growing up. I'm not really sure how it's written, um, but I loved it that way. And we had people in our little country church who could hit that E-flat. And sometimes we would go and hit that F, and it was wonderful. As, as some friends of mine say, it would give you the cold chills. <laughs> okay, prayer is the key. Um, I, I want to um, ask you if you have a pencil and paper, or pen and paper, um, I want you to write something down. Um, I talked about yesterday, I played for um, my cousin's funeral, Marshall. And um, I, I come across a lot of singers, um, a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of musicians. Um, and, and I always appreciate the gift and the calling on their life. But um, every now and then you just, somebody just walks up behind you and taps you on the shoulder. And it's really just beyond what you can describe. It's sacred. It's anointed. It's beautiful. Um, when Marshall's wife, Celeste, called me and asked me to play for the funeral, she told me that um, a, a guy that I knew, his wife, who I, whom I had never met, was going to sing, and, and could I play for her to sing? And so I, I shared with her the music page. And because of the timing and the crowd at the funeral, we didn't get to practice. She walked in, and she, one of those people that tapped me on the shoulder and... Um, I hit a chord, and she said, well, we'll do it this way, and um, the rest is just God's anointing. Um, Amy, you sang, I love an alto anyway. I love the range of your voice, the richness. Um, um, Amy Stevenson, and Amy, I will not attempt to say your middle name, but Amy's on here. It's Amy, middle name, Stevenson. Um, but Amy's song, and, um, it was, it was, if, if we, if it was secular, it would have been magical, but because it was in a church and sacred, it, it truly was just anointed and, and heavenly. Um, she sang, she sang, I'll fly away, <laughs> and we had no idea, we had, we had never practiced it, and, and we were trying to be quiet when we were um, just hitting chords, and she was sort of humming in my ear, and and she did the first the first few words of that first verse really slow, and I'm like, well, why don't you just do it that way? And and I'll tell you, Amy, it was um, whew, it was a moment I will never forget. Um, I'll fly away is not my favorite song to play, but I believe for. Uncle Marsha Ray's family, all those boys, and Aunt Betty. She even told me today, she said, I want, Aunt Betty told me that she wanted me to play for her funeral and you to sing, and she wanted it faster than we did it for Marshall. But um, what, what an honor to get to do that. But what a true blessing to get to provide that with someone who really just, not just brings a talent, but brings I mean, just the Holy Spirit with them. Amy, I, I promise you it'll be a moment that I won't forget. And I wanted to tell you, the reason I wanted you to get your pencil and paper is Amy, I found out, sings in a trio in North Carolina, and they're on Facebook, and I, yeah, I trolled your page last night, Amy, looking at it and just absolutely loving the, um, the music that you guys do. The name of the trio is River Song Trio, and Amy, if you would just tell us where you guys are from and if you're available to, to take bookings and those kind of things. They do a cappella stuff. I mean, whew, it's through the roof. It's very, very good. Um, Peter, I promise you we did all fly away, one verse slow and the rest fast. And it was, um, wow, it was, it was just amazing. But Amy, you feel free to share. I'm going to leave that in your hands. But if you would, just friend um, or follow, go to River Song Trio. They're out of North Carolina. It's three ladies, and they have amazing, yeah, hyperlink. Um, you guys know that technology. I don't know it. 
Um, but that was one of the things that I wanted to talk about tonight, and I appreciate your patience in allowing me to talk. Um, you know that one of my favorite songs is this one. <laughs> to embarrass you because I know you're very private and I just thrust myself out there but um, I wanted so much I played this for you yesterday um, because I just felt like it was it was encouraging and it would provide encouragement to you and I won't remember all the words so um, Yesterday, 
to get to participate in marshal service. Um, you'll never know what your phone call meant to me um, and what you guys mean to me. To be able to call you family is, is a greater gift than anything I could ever imagine. Um, Just a closer walk with thee. Granted, Jesus, daily is my plea. Um, now, you guys know that I love Pentecostal music. And um, let me see if I can find the book. Not that I need it. Um, but not that it does me any good, I should say. Um, but um, I don't know if you've been listening to Miss Janice Gregory play, but I, you know, I, I'm... She's just one of my favorites, and and she and I have been communicating about these old um, Tennessee books um, by I think they're by 
um, Tennessee Pop, uh, Music and Printing Company, and some are by, um, oh gosh, um, well, I think most of them are by the, the Tennessee Printing, um, Music and Printing Company. Anyway, they're, they're wonderful. Um, they've got the most fun songs in them um, that growing up, if we could hear this, it was really great music. Um, let me see. Um, this is one I hadn't played in years, and I just ran across it the other night when I was going through this music. So I hope you'll enjoy it. You may not know it, but you can at least clap your hands or pat your foot or clap your feet and pat your hands, whichever one you like to do. Um, <laughs> an acoustic bass, my goodness. too long let's say it like that um i would like to have a hymn or a singing with just that um music from that tennessee um i'm gonna say it right tennessee music and printing company out of cleveland tennessee um you can you can um i, I told you the other night if you want to know more just let me know um okay so um brian you wanted um i, I i'm not sure i understood I know he's mine. Is that, um, Kevin, is, is Brian requesting the same song that you said? Um, <laughs> uh, Jana, the tambourine has one proper place. That's inside of a piano bench. And I'll just leave that there. <laughs> uh, there are very, very few people who can really play a tambourine and, um, make it make it work so brian i hope this is what you want kevin you know um man i'm 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 wanting the best for you and so glad that we get to share this time um i think this is it
that fun. <clears throat> um, I want to do um, something secular for a, just, a, just a couple of tunes. Um, and I'm afraid to ask you to give me requests because I, um, I think we've, we've already been on here um, about as long as I had planned to, but I, I did want to do a couple of, of secular things. Um, I love all music, and I think it all ha is proper in the right place in the right time, um, and I have no problem mixing this because I think it all, um, it's all created by God's creation, so it is what we make it. Um, me because there's a part of this that I get wrong. Um, I have to sit down and work it out. I only play it once a year, so... Um
okay, you started Christmas and I'm in trouble. Um. going to be calling and we can't we cannot have that <laughs> um someone asked me to play this and i'm sorry i had just about forgotten it um
Yes, Miss Elaine, you beat me to it. Um, I've got it written down. Um, Cheryl contacted me earlier this week, um, I, my friend Cheryl, and um, I am doing an inaugural concert. And that sounds even strange to say, but um, um, Scranton Baptist Church, a little town in South Carolina um, called Scranton. If you know where Florence is and you know where Lake City is, it's a dot on the map between, um, between Florence and Lake City on Highway 52. But on November 21st, um, I've got two people who are going to come with me that are people from the music page, but I'm not at liberty to say who they are because they haven't said that, um, that I could say that yet. But I will be, I'll be sharing that a little more. And if you're... If you're in our area of South Carolina and you can come, um, please please come and be a part. Um, I'm, I'm excited. I've not done anything. You know, I sang gospel music on the road for years. Um, now, Martha, be nice. We all know Scranton's a speed trap. <laughs> um, they got to have revenue from somewhere. <laughs> um, yes, I've paid a fine there before. Um, and even when I knew the mayor, I paid the fine. So... Um, Oh, Carolyn, how sweet. You live on the same street as the church. Um, well, anyway, I got to move along. Um, I am uh, November 21st, Sunday morning, and the, the service starts at 11 o'clock. Um, and I'll be there, and a couple of my friends are coming with me um, that, that play and sing. So it'll be, I think, a really, really good time. I think we'll, we'll have a great time. We'll, we'll worship. We'll probably, um, I hope the Holy Spirit will move and We'll feel God's presence. Um, um, I'm, I'm going to end with two songs, um, but I want to play one more because it's just selfishly I enjoy playing it. <laughs> and minds are clear. Um,
me, but I think it's got a message that will resonate with a lot of you. Um, I hope it will, and I hope it'll give you a little a little motivation um, to um, take your hands off of situations and allow God's hands to be placed around them and allow peace to embrace you and permeate your heart and your being. Well, if you got burdens that you can't bear, and if you got rivers that you share, let me start over. of what our page feels. Um, as the world looks upon me as I struggle along they say I have nothing
actually have a couple of things I have to do before I go to bed. So um, hold on just a second. Okay, Peter, just because you asked, um, and I dropped my key, my pencil into my piano. I think it'll be all right. I'll take, I'll get it out later. I have to take this off and it's not a big deal, but it, it can be get, it can get cantankerous. Um, and Lippard, you requested a song um, and someone else requested the same song, I think, but it was really early on and I missed it. If you don't mind, if you can remember what it was, um, I play, I know, um, in the presence of Jehovah is a, is one that you really like. And I played that, um, and I, you know, ever know, I might play it again, never know. But, um, if you remember what it was, um, let me know and I'll certainly play that, um, because it was something that I really like to play. Um, and I'd like to do that. Um, but for, for Peter and anybody else who likes page six in the red back hymnal, hymnal. type in, I want to know more about my Lord lyrics, and most likely the lyrics will come up. Um, I'm glad I know the blessed Savior, for through his blood he set me free, though rough the road, I shall not waver for some glad day, his face I'll see. He promised when his soul ascended, I'm coming back, the Lord did say, if on his promise you've depended, on wings of love you'll soar away. Isn't that great? Man, that's good, good stuff. Um, okay, well, um, oh, prayer is the key, yes, yeah, um, I'm sorry. Someone was commenting on um, the convention songs that several of us like so much. Um, and I, I want to play this. I played it the other night, and then I, I couldn't find the music. So I'm going to try to play it right. It's called either In the Midnight Hour or At the Midnight Hour. <laughs> Thank you. 
verse 2. Jesus said his kingdom would be like 10 something. Oh, oh well, I won't try to do that. You guys are killing me. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Rita, if, if you will go to, you see Miss Janice commented too below you, Miss Janice Gregory. She played this the other day, and it's absolutely divine. Um, I don't play it correctly, and it makes me really nervous because I don't, and I'm, I'm going to try to work on it some more. i played it several times on here, but it never has been right. So I'm going to go back and listen to her, but go go, um, friend her and um, listen to her play. it. It's beautiful, and it's perfect. As far as I can read it, perfect. Um, all right. Yeah, Granny, we're going to do... Um, I don't know. I don't know that, Katie. Um, I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, it's it's been almost two hours, and I've I've got to go. Um, and I and I hate to do that. We're having such a great time. Um, I would say, like my uncle says, I've got to go to bed so y'all can go home. Um, <laughs> anyway, Lisa, I played till the storm passes by um, earlier, but I'll play the chorus for you. <laughs>
I'm letting this ring out so you can tell how, how good Oscar has it tuned. Is good? Is it good or well? Um, okay, here we go. This this is the next to the last one. I'll go into Jesus Loves Me from here, and we will all go to bed in the biblical, well, Jesus, we will go to bed like we should, have a good night's rest, and get up tomorrow refreshed and renewed. Um, take a few minutes and someone else could take a few minutes wouldn't that be fun oh my goodness oh that would really be at the bench with Briley I would love that so much okay here we go um thank you for joining us um I can't believe so many of you would um want to spend this time um and and make our Facebook page real family I'm very very thankful for that um and I have an, my final announcement. I've told you that I'm going to be at Scranton Baptist Church um, on November 21st. I feel like I'm peddling something. Cheryl, why'd you do this to me? Um, Sunday morning, February, February, November 21st, Sunday morning, Scranton, South Carolina, a little town on Highway 52 between Florence and Lake City. I'll be there at their 11 o'clock service and um, I have several people, a couple, maybe three, maybe four, who are coming with me who can sing and play. So, um, and I have a couple who are coming just for moral support, and I love that too. So, um, 
Um, if you're in the neighborhood or nearby and can work it out where you can come, would love it. Um, my friend Cheryl, who asked me to come play, um, says that the they do have a Facebook page and it will be live streamed. So um, I guess that's maybe three Sundays from this coming Sunday. I'm not sure. But um, it's Scranton, S-C-R-A-N-T-O-N, Baptist Church in Scranton, South Carolina. Would love for y'all to, to, to be a part of that, whether it's through social media or, or um, in person. But here's my, here's my latest, uh, my last announcement, and then we will, um, we, we will all sing Jesus Loves Me Together. I have done something at 60 years old, and I am questioning myself because I didn't realize what I was doing when I did it. But I will begin to take cello lessons next week. And you have heard me say that I can read the, the treble clef, I can read the lead note with no problem, and I put a chord with it, and, and I'm sorry. I'm, I, I, I play the, the lead note um, on the treble clef with no problem, and I put a chord with it, and that's how I play. Um, well, little did I know that the cello, um, you have to read the bass clef. So um, if, if you see me um, with a poor attitude and um, a lot of consternation when I'm on here, it will be because I'm trying to read the bass clef. But it's going to be a great exercise, and I am really, really excited. Um, the, the music teacher that I'm taking from is very accomplished in many different instruments and um, does all different kinds of music, but her favorite music is sacred. So we are off to a good start. Um, so anyway, I wanted you to share in that joy with me. Um, it'll be a long time before you ever hear me um, pick up a bow and play this thing, but um, I'm kind of excited about doing something new. So that has nothing to do with what we've done here tonight. I just, I wanted to share that with you because I'm excited. Um, for me, I'm not excited for my neighbors or for my family um, to have to endure that, but I'm excited that, that I might could actually play along with the, um, not, I doubt I ever get accomplished enough to play classical music with a symphony or a string quartet or anything like that, but if I can just play to, um, like Miss Millicent playing piano or Donna playing piano, Miss Gret, Miss Janice playing piano, um, and just to play along with them on a hymn, to me that would just be amazing. Anyway. Thank you for sharing in my joy, um, and I'll tell you what, you all, you all are cringing, I know, I don't know what to do with that, I think it'll stay there, okay, Jesus loves me, because he does, and we're so thankful.
regardless of where your mind is, where your heart is, where your emotions are, that doesn't scare Jesus. He loves you. When God, look, if you've accepted him as your Savior, when God looks at you, he sees that grace. That's all he sees. He doesn't see all the junk underneath. I pray that you've accepted him in your life, and if you haven't, it's just as simple as acknowledging him as Lord, asking him to forgive you of your sins, and asking him to cover you with the blood that he shed on the cross of Calvary that created the gift of grace. And he gives it to you freely. Just like a parent would leave an inheritance. Just like a boss would give you a paycheck. Just like a stranger would hand you a gift. Some of it's earned, some of it's not. Grace is never earned. It's truly a gift. Freely given. Never taken away. Don't we have a lot to be thankful for? Have a great rest of your week.